Hey guys, so I ordered the um, high tie trailer system for my trailers. You can see behind me, um, it is a pole that comes out and you can attach your horse to it. So if you are ever at a show or camping and there's no trees to high line, there's no corrals or pipe panels, this is an option. I ordered it from the Distance Depot. They were awesome to work with, not sponsored at all by anybody for this video. But I wanted to show you guys the high tie and show you the installation and kind of give you my thoughts on the product. I'm going to be testing it out this weekend. Um, while I'm horse camping with Fame, there's zero places for me to highline him. So that's why I ordered this thing. And you can see the, the hardware is incredibly sturdy. You screw the holes into your trailer. The wall of your trailer goes in here. You screw it in. Here is the pipe. Here's the piece where you would attach. Um, I, I ordered the bungee cable. You can attach a variety of things to this, whether it's your horse's lead rope directly or there's different attachments. So this is the bungee unit. A woman recommended it. She said it's popular. I guess some people aren't a fan, but I'm going to give it a try. So I purchased my trailer used and from the stickers on it, it was used by someone who did endurance. And we just realized that I think they had used it on their trailer. So hopefully I can remove these plugs and we can just put it in right there. It would be perfect. That's exactly where I'd love to have it. And just so you're aware, if you're gonna install one of these yourself, you wanna install it to the frame. So obviously you don't screw it into the aluminum because this is way too weak to handle a device like that. But a frame here would be okay. Um, and then, you know, my other options would be maybe one of these frames potentially. <laughs> YouTuber breaks her neck, not on her falling off her horse, but trying to unscrew something from her trailer. Just kidding. This is so amazing, you guys. The holes were already drilled. I love whoever bought this trailer. Oh, <laughs> whoever bought this trailer and did this. I love you. Thank you. Okay, so these are the half inch holes that we would have had to drill, but have already been drilled, courtesy of the previous owner. So this is the little flyer that comes with it. And they tell you on here, like what tools you actually need. And then they tell you, whoops, the different ways you can install it. And the, the cushion goes on the outside. So this is the big. So the washer, okay. Wash, big washer. Okay. And then this is a lock washer. Okay. And that keeps tension on the nut so it doesn't loosen up over time. Gotcha. And then there's the nut. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Okay, so I, I got a job now. I need like a, I need a stool to get up here, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Top one first. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta stick it in the thingy. So this is my job, is to just hold this in while he screws in the other side. So he's, ow, he's tightening it from the other side. Okay. Yeah? And then you can see, if you look underneath here, how it's rounded on that side. So that means it's gonna shut to the right, as opposed to if it were rounded on the other side, it doesn't shut that way. This piece comes out, and then you pull it open, put it in, and stab it through all the way just to be sure and it's pretty pretty solid we read the directions like good people like good boys and girls and this actually needs to be up this is why you need the 316 salon wrench key thing and you adjust it that way nice and tight so that it's not gonna flip around. So easy, I did it with one hand and filming with my phone. <laughs> and, and maybe my husband did a lot of it too. I love you. All right guys, so we're almost to the end of our trip and I thought I'd give you my thoughts on this high tie now that we have been using it for about 48 hours and I've gotten a chance to test it out. Pros are it's sturdy, so the, the hardware and stuff is really well made. Um, it seems like it holds up to fame being the big guy that he is, so I'm not really worried about like longevity or that kind of stuff. There's a swivel on this piece right here. So when we first got here, fame was a little bit anxious and was doing 
a lot of circles and I was concerned that it was gonna get bound up at top, but it didn't because there's a swivel down at the bolt snap. So that's a big plus. And actually I should clarify, it's not like a true bolt snap. Um, the trigger mechanism works like that, which I think is a lot more secure than the kind that pulled down like this. So I think that was good forethought on their part. I do keep the line maybe a few inches from the ground because I felt like for him when he had tension on his halter, when he would reach down to eat or drink, it would cause him to bounce his head back up. He didn't like it. It kind of prevented him from eating and drinking. He's the kind of horse I don't really worry too much about him getting tangled up. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's pretty chill on these types of things. And so I brought it down almost to the ground. It's probably about four inches off the ground if I were to just detach this and hang it. That was a good length for him. You know, your mileage may vary. Another thing that I've heard people worry about with these is horses getting their legs stuck in the wheel well. And I've talked to a couple people that have seen that happen. Again, Fame doesn't even lie down when he's on high ties or high lines. His legs and feet are so huge. I'm not really too worried about it, but I did put his water bucket in front of the wheels and his hay and grain buckets on either side, just so that there wasn't that draw to lie down there. Again, for convenience and just as an emergency backup option, I think it's pretty darn fabulous. The biggest downside I would say, which is just an inevitability, is that, you know, it doesn't give him a ton of space. So obviously if my other options were uh, pipe panels or highline or electric fencing, I would probably be able to, you know, give him a lot more room. He's got about as far out as he's standing is about as big of a circle as he kind of walked. You can kind of see this is about where it ended. But, you know, it's what you'd expect for a product like this. It pops out from the trailer. It's not meant to be a huge amount of space. So I'm happy with it. I like it. I would definitely recommend it to somebody if they're looking for an additional option. And I think for him, you know, especially on these short camping trips, it's a really nice thing to have. So. It gets my thumbs up, he gets Fame's thumbs up. We're definitely gonna test it out some more, but I would say just for this first run, it's been a really nice little investment piece and I'm glad that we have it.